Hello there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. And yes, as you can tell from the title, signing number three has finally been announced at Oakwell today in the name of uh, Isaac uh, Christie Davis. Now, before we get chatting about this signing and my thoughts on it, drop a like on the video, please, and subscribe to the channel if you're not uh, already and hit the notification bell so you're not missing out on any of the latest uh, videos on Tax TV. The season's almost here, thank God. Uh, and we've signed, the signing number three is here in Isaac Christie Davis who joins on a free uh, transfer having left uh, Premier League champions Liverpool uh, with uh, beat off apparently according to the football club numerous opposite uh, championship opposition to get this signature of this free uh, free agent now I've not heard of this guy before once again listen Ed, every signing I'm glad we're up there we said we needed a signing or a couple of signings this week going into the beginning of the season uh, didn't expect this guy never seen him rumoured never seen anything really on him uh, he's, he's put pen to paper on a three year contract with us with an option in the club's favour for another year similar to Mowat um, so Brighton Bond mid midfielder box to box uh, whether or not he's going to be a first team start I don't know he's at that age he's 22 years of age now where and he's made I think just the one competitive appearance and that was for Chelsea um, he went on loan to um, uh, Circa Bruges and that were absolutely rifled by injuries. So he's not had the best of luck, but hopefully, you know, it does work out for us. I want to be positive on this, guys. I really do. I think any signing, you know, is we've got to be trying to be positive about it. We don't know what him, what he's about. Hopefully, it pays off for him. But that's the thing. It's hope. You know, this is we 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 kind of need somebody we know is going to hit the ground running. And hopefully, he does. Again, I'm using the word hope. I've got to use the word hope. We don't know what he'll be like. If there's other clubs looking at him in the Championship, clearly they see something in him as well as ourselves. Um, but like I said, there's been Ben Whiteman. That's gone quiet. He was the one. I, you know, I want us to try and get that deal done. I want us, I really, really do. But obviously, if we're not willing to go that step further and pay the money, and I'm not saying go by me, but if we're not going to go there, then obviously we've got to get players in like this on free agents who, who hope we, uh, the football club hope will pay off. And hopefully, maybe in a couple of years, he goes on to be a wonder kid and they sell him for a, a numerous profit. Uh, but. Uh, this it's a guy once again we we're talking about this none of none of, not many of us I'm sure will have heard of the lad I'm going to read the statement on the on the football club um, so yeah put pen to paper a product of the famed Chelsea FC youth uh, system Christy Davis formed part of their successful FA Cup youth winning uh, team as well as lifting the under 19s UEFA uh, youth league cup in 2016. Uh, he made he, he would make one first team appearance with the London Giants before making the move to Anfield in January 2009. Uh, now looking to make his mark at all, well the box to box uh, uh, midfielder was uh, en enthusiastic when speaking to us uh, on site with signing on the dotted line. Uh, I'm really pleased to be here. As soon as I heard of the interest, I wanted to get it done. I watched a lot of Barnsley from last season. I was really impressed with the high pressing and uh, style, and I've spoken to the gaffer, and I think it. Uh, I'll fit the system. There seems to be a real good team spirit here. The togetherness really appeals to me. So that's always good. Great. He's happy to be here. That's what we want. Uh, every single player to be here and be happy to be here. I just hope it works out for him and the football club. You know, the, 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 we've got to remember we stopped up because of a points deduction. Yes, we played some good stuff towards the end. And you look at Struber, you know, since he took over where we would have been, we would have been mid-table. Uh, you look where when Flickcroft took over, we'd have probably been mid-table that year as well. But what happened year after? So I'm not trying to compare, but let, let's bear in mind, you know, and and we need other we need other players to come in this week. Let hope that we don't lose any of those other star players uh, on top of that. But uh, this, uh, I, I I'm I'm not, you know, I'm not overjoyed. I'm not underjoyed, if you know what I mean, on this uh, and I'll, I will, we'll, we'll see what he's all about come Saturday if, if he's in the squad for, for the game against Luton, that's as simple as that so I don't want to get too, uh, well I can't get too overjoyed because like I said I, that he's not really made any competitive appearances really other than the one for Chelsea from what I can gather online uh, like I said went out on loan and, and that were absolutely rifled with injuries so hopefully you know he comes towards fresh start for him as well uh, and it's the ground running because it's the championship and he's got to do that 
He's got to do that. All this gelling nonsense. No, it's it. It can't be. It's it's not. It's because by the time they've gelled. Luckily, you know, we 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 did stop up this season. Well, last season. But uh, hopefully, it works out for him. Hopefully, it works out for the football club. You know, the football club very very happy to get this lad on board. We've got to be as well, and we've hope that hope that it works out. And I, I keep stressing that, but but that's all we can say at this moment in time that it, that it does. Uh, but best of luck to him. That's that's simple as that. And if he's in the squad Saturday, we'll we'll be looking at him. Uh, see what he's all about and hopefully I'm saying it again hopefully it does work out uh, but other than that guys that's all, all all I can really add on it other than uh, yeah that's another signing signing number three and we weren't expecting uh, this lad never heard of him me personally uh, never seen any rumours on him uh, at all it's just completely been announced out of the blue uh, on the Barnes of Football Club's birthday as well which was a tremendous video shout out to the Barnes of Football Club media team putting that video together wonderful video um, yeah so other than that guys I'll let you crack on once again thank you for watching get your comments in what you think on this signing please understand my opinion I understand yours I can't get overjoyed I can't get underjoyed on this one if you know what I mean I've just got to yeah go with it go with it uh, and yeah we'll see on Saturday when uh, when he's in the squad and we play against Luton uh, so get your comments in what you think on this signing guys also like the video as well if you did enjoy and uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're not missing out on the latest content hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for some transfers and rumours if there is any talk about like I said Ben Whiteman deal that's gone pretty quiet at the moment strikers wise we need a striker on top of Woodrow, there's rumours speculating about him, him and I don't know. I'm not going to get into too much detail. We'll see later on in the week. But hopefully we don't lose any key players towards the start of the season. So thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you very, very soon. Up the Reds.